Hi, my name is Michael Fu. I'm a faculty member in the Robert H. Smith School of Business in the Department of Decision, Operations, and Information Technologies um, with a joint appointment in the Institute for Systems Research in the uh, A. James Clark School of Engineering and also an affiliate appointment with the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Uh, my main area of research is in um, simulation methodology and optimization, simulation modeling and analysis, and uh, more generally stochastic modeling of pride probability. Um, I, you could say maybe my main objectives in my research are twofold. One is to enable systems in a very general sense to operate more efficiently and uh, systems could consist of um, all machines or automated um, entities or it could be all people as well um, involving or involving some combination thereof. Um, the other uh, overarching objective is to help managers make better decisions in their organization and that's a very broad uh, area. Some of the main application areas that I work in are in um, uh, manufacturing, supply chain management, and financial engineering. Um, some examples of this could be, for example, if you're trying to find the optimal staffing for a call center. Um, this would involve things like uh, determining how many agents to hire, what types of skill levels they should have, how many at each skill levels, and skill levels could be, for example, having to do with whether they handle just voice, uh, whether they also handle, say, fax, email, chat, online chat, IM, or any of the other uh, newer ways of uh, accessing uh, service. Um, so in this case, um, it could, you could either model the system using some sort of, of queuing network, and then um, you could either analyze it analytically using models such as Markov chains, um, or perhaps uh, Markov decision processes, um, or you might build a simulation model. Uh, my research looks at all these different types of um, approaches to modeling the problem. Um, so more generally, the types of uh, methodologies we use are, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier, queuing theory, Markov chains, um, simulation, uh, and for doing uh, decision, sequential decision making under uncertainty, we use a technique called, mar uh, a modeling um, paradigm called Markov decision processes. And uh, Steve Marcus and I do a lot of uh, research together in this area, um, both using uh, analytical models and using simulation models. An example of this uh, more recently was uh, one of my PhD students who graduated a few years ago. Um, who was actually an army officer. He's uh, now a full colonel. Um, he looked at uh, these types of methods to decide um, how to do optimal portfolio investment in retirement accounts. Um, and he actually applied it to some real data that uh, he had. Another project that uh, Steve Marcus and myself, Gary Rubloff and Jeffrey Herman had um, um, in starting in the late 1990s with the Semiconductor Research Corporation uh, and also partially funded by National Science Foundation had to do with semiconductor manufacturing. Uh, basically the main objective was how to operate the manufacturing fab, the semiconductor fab most efficiently in terms of planning operations. So that could involve things such as scheduling and uh, preventive maintenance. And the main idea in that project had to do with how could you uh, link these operational objectives with the processing steps um, which were modeled by, for example, physics uh, and uh, simulation models at, uh, at the physics level. Something that came out of this project was actually two internships for uh, graduate students, one here at uh, Maryland uh, from ISR and another at uh, University of Cincinnati. And these students actually went out and worked at the fabs at uh, Intel and AMD. And they came up with models uh, for doing optimal preventive maintenance scheduling and helped uh, implement them at the fabs, test them out, and show how efficient they were in, in terms of uh, improving operations. A couple other projects in which I was involved had to do with simulation directly. And one was um, carried out with the uh, FDIC and the main objective there was to set 
uh, insurance premium levels for the various banks, and that was as a function of, for example, their riskiness and various macroeconomic factors such as that the um, economy, uh, unemployment, uh, and so forth. Um, the other project that involved simulation was with actually the Washington Post, and what we simulated was basically the Sunday uh, advertisement insertment inserting process, where, as you may be aware, that uh, your Sunday paper has a lot of advertisements, and um, depending on where you live in the area, you'll get a different set of advertisements. So just like uh, ma uh, manufacturing systems, it's, um, they thought of these different uh, mixes as, as different recipes for, uh, for preparing your newspaper. And so the, uh, we built a simulation model to help them basically analyze the flow through their um, system and to decide how many of each types of machines were needed and how to set up the scheduling and so forth. Uh, these are just a few of the examples of where the methodologies that uh, my research is involved can be use used. Um, thank you for your time.